Are you awake yet, Jack? <clears throat> GW, the Arsenal AI is corrupted beyond repair. I admit that I underestimated you. I think, do I have to hold the, the controller here? I'll squeeze the answers out of you instead, my yes. son! Yes, okay, I'm glad that I didn't put the controller down. Okay, good. <laughs> Yeah, I almost put the controller down and was like, I'm going to enjoy all these cutscenes. Come on. I ain't got no life. Come on, guys. We're done here. Oh, thank God. I think that's the last time you ever have to do what that. Do you hope to hear? You know he doesn't know anything. It's not him I want the answers from. What do you mean? That's not your business. Oh, really? It so happens I have some business of my own to attend to. Planning to hijack Arsenal? Huh? You were going to screw me over, weren't you? Who talked? Ocelot? Not exactly. I was the one who used Ocelot to suggest the idea to you in the first place. What? I was planning to give you Arsenal to begin with. Why the uncharacteristic generosity? <laughs> I'm no philanthropist. Arsenal is far from impregnable. It needs other Metal Gears as guards, a huge payload of warheads, and full air, sea, and land support to function efficiently. Against a large attack force without support, Arsenal is nothing more than a gigantic coffin. Seizing Arsenal gear was never the real objective. What was your objective then? A list of names of the Patriots! <gasps> they were planning to extend their control to digital information flow with GW and Arsenal. That means the information they want to filter out is contained in GW. Including that list of the highest 12 members of the Patriots Wiseman's Committee. And once you knew who they were, you would cross I will out say their I don't like what they did with the GW one. system While and we, the, the AI and stuff Arsenal in drew their fire. Very good. You were using us all along. Were you any different? But your plans hit a snag with GW destroyed, hasn't it? That was one of the things that was set up in this game that I think was interesting that no, they I kind of think dropped the way. ball on and for. Really? But we have our own plans to carry out. We'll take the arsenal since you don't care for it anyway. The purified hydrogen bomb is ready to go. A nuclear strike won't stop them. It will damage their power source. The mindless masses that they control. First things first. Of course. That was what you wanted. I won't stop you. Good luck. Thanks, but I have quite enough of that. <laughs> what exactly do you find so funny? Charades usually are humorous. I wouldn't have minded watching some more of it, but we're running a little short on time. What are you talking about? Everything you've done here has been scripted. A little exercise set up by us. Exercise? The S3 plan was conceived as a means to reduce soldiers on par with Solid Snake. That's what I told you. But the VR training the boy was put through is not the meat of the project. You think this little terrorist incident is your own doing, Solidus? This is the S3 training kernel. An orchestrated recreation of Shadow Moses. What? I love this part of the game so much. Ames and the President's deaths. The ninja. The computer virus that mimics Fox Die. Did you really think they were all a coincidence? Ames own nanomachines were used to shut down his pacemaker. I arranged for the appearance of the ninja as well. 
As for the president, although Johnson realized what was going on, he played out his allotted part. As for the computer virus, it's a digital counterpart of Fox Tie. It was also designed to eliminate every scrap of information regarding the Patriots from GW. Your plan was invalidated even before execution, Solidus. Fat Man was a different story. He's one of our own people, a sort of examiner we hired to test the boy's progress before letting him tackle the exercise proper. We had to arrange for Stillman's presence to coax the maniac into agreeing. If the boy had allowed the big shell to be destroyed, this exercise would have ended there. The project has no room for failures. What do you mean? Given the right situation, the right story, anyone can be shaped into snake. Even rookies can fight like men of experience. An instant creation of genius. And this training kernel would provide more than enough data to formulate such a program. You, dead cell, Olga, you're all nothing but pawns placed to create the perfect simulation. I love how it's a meta Solidus. commentary on sequels, like you trying to ape off the first game. Because your relationship like a player character, what does that mean to play a game? Was. Just, it's so cool. Fortune, I love that so you much. You and the rest of Dead Cell stand in for the Foxhound squad that Snake took on in Shadow Moses. You're the most impressive collection of freaks outside of Foxhound. We've gone to a lot of trouble to set you up against the boy. That story about purified hydrogen bombs is just the tip of the iceberg. The project was already underway when I sunk that tanker, along with your old man two years ago. Throwing your husband in the brig was a part of it too. You were told that the eradication of Dead Cell six months ago was an act of the Patriots. We provoked and encouraged your hatred. And you opted for vengeance, just as we planned. All orchestrated? Except for the appearance of the real Solid Snake. I wonder now who sent for you. All our misfortune was just a part of your project? How could... You're no Lady Luck. You have nothing that we didn't give you. Do you know why no bullet could hit you? It wasn't magic, or some new age mumbo jumbo. Certainly wasn't your psychic talents. It was all staged by the Patriots. Staged? You were being shielded by the electromagnetic weapons technology that the Patriots developed. Your dead cell comrades loved your father and husband. We needed a pathetic wretch like you to keep them focused. You've been our puppet all along, just like Olga. No! You were hamming it up as the tragic heroine, thanks to the script that the Patriots wrote for you. Pure self-indulgence, absorbed in your own misfortune. You couldn't get enough of the drama. I could have died whenever I wanted to. Hmm, thought I got her in the heart. It missed. Now I really. 
remember. Your heart's on the right. Waste of metal, my dear, but your luck's run out. This is the little gizmo. There's no such thing as miracles or the supernatural. Only cutting-edge technology. I do love any time that Ocelot gets his time to shine in these games, as he is probably my favorite character in the series. So this is all great stuff. Now that I have enough data, all I have to do is retrieve Arsenal and clean up the refuse from the exercise. Just try! I don't know if this trope has a name or not, but I absolutely love this in any media where a character's been told specifically there's nothing special about them and that they can't do this thing, but then they just do it anyway. really cool character and I think they kind of wasted her. I would have loved to have seen her come back in 4 like Vamp does and like actually get revenge or something. Damn. It can't be. 
Again, I said this in the beginning, but this is like the one part of the game that I, I do not right gel with. To and I'm glad that they flipped this in Metal Gear Solid 4. That they were like, oh no, it was Ocelot just kind of pulling a prank Ocelot. on everybody. Yes, a sleeper in the arm of a Patriot spy. It was you two years ago? Exactly. I was controlling him. Snake, it was I that leaked information about Arsenal to your partner and got you out here. What? You're the only one that can free me. After all... I'm off to bury the Patriots for good. You know where they are? How? Why do you think I chose Ocelot as my host? But before I go, I have a family matter to settle with both of you. There's room for only one snake and one big boss. Time to say goodbye! So this is where, like, a shit ton of stuff got cut in this game, and it's incredibly clear that you can tell. Because, if I'm not mistaken, this scene starts with us, like, flying on Arsenal. It's, like, kind of approaching New York. And then the next scene, we're just somewhere else. And obviously, this was released, like, a month or two after September 11th. And they had to cut some stuff out, but I kind of would have loved to have seen that stuff in here. Because there's, there's like a significant amount of stuff that was cut out of just this one part that I would have loved to have seen. And I think some of the files still exist in the game. Um, and I would love to see them be restored or something at some point, but... Yeah, like, we're just here now. How the fuck did this happen? So much was cut there, and it's incredibly obvious that a bunch of stuff was cut there. Washington took office as the first president of the United States of America 200 years ago today. And it happened right here. We were going to declare another independence. The dawn of a new nation here. The end of the Patriots' secret rule. Liberation of this country. This was where it was supposed to begin. This is where freedom could have been born. All you want is power at any cost. Jack, it's not power I want. What I wanted to take back from the Patriots are things like freedom, civil rights, opportunities. The founding principles of this country. Everything that's about to be wiped out by their digital censorship. Jack, listen to me. 
We're all born with an expiration date. No one lasts forever. Life is nothing but a grace period for turning the best of our genetic material into the next generation. The data of life is transferred from parent to child. That's how it works. But we have no heirs, no legacy. We brothers are called Les Enfants Terribles. Cloned from our father with the ability to reproduce conveniently engineered out. What is our legacy if we cannot pass the torch? Proof of our existence, a mark of some sort. When the torch is passed on from parent to child, it extends beyond DNA. Information is imparted as well. All I want is to be remembered by other people, by history. The Patriots are trying to protect their power, their own interests, by controlling the digital flow of information. I want my memory, my existence to remain. Unlike an intron of history, I will be remembered as an exon. That will be my legacy, my mark in history. But the Patriots would deny us even that. I will triumph over the Patriots and liberate us all, and we will become the Sons of Liberty!